So you have Nadine Woodward and you have um, Lisa Brown. So Lisa Brown used to be the head of commerce under Jay Inslee. Yeah, while commerce was going through all that debacle during the pandemic, incredibly mismanaged. Uh, and the Spokane mayor's office is something that Democrats have eyed for a long time. Because I think a lot of people look at the east side of the state as this Republican bastion, but Spokane really isn't all that red. And it's getting bluer and bluer by the day. And you have Democrats who are just like a dog on a bone. They'll do anything. They'll say anything to try to take the mayor's office in Spokane from Republicans. And this race has gotten, first of all, particularly nasty. And... I will say, I got sent this yesterday. This apparently at, aired during the Seahawks game, the most recent Seahawks game. This is the winner. This is the winner for the worst political attack ad of the entire election cycle. So the ad was paid for by the Washington State Democratic Party. And it is an attack ad against the current mayor, Nadine Woodward. Uh, I'm just going to play it, and then we'll we'll assess it on the back end. And the quality, I'll say, is not great. I think somebody posted maybe something they just recorded off the TV, and it's the only place we can find it. But watch. Let's make crime illegal again. When my childhood home burnt to the ground this summer in the Gray Fire, my family looked to our leaders to help. But Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward didn't stand with us. Instead, she stood with accused domestic terrorist Matt Shea, pre for fire to consume Spokane. And Nadine Woodward got her wish. Hundreds of homes, just like mine, were destroyed that same day. Spokane, we deserve better. Defeat Nadine Woodward. Return your ballot by Election Day, November 7th. This message paid for by Washington State Democrats. Oh, oh my God. So, wow, where do I even start with that one? I laugh, but there's a couple things that actually really anger me about it. We don't know if that voice actor, or if that's a voice actor or a real victim of the fires that happened in the Spokane area this summer. When I hear it, I tend to think it's probably a voice actor that's been hired because they sound very professional. Now, we've reached out to the Washington State Democratic Party and we've asked them, because this to me is the biggest, there's a lot of issues with this ad, I'll say. But the biggest insult would be if they hired an actor to pretend that they're a fire victim for political gain. There are real people who lost their homes in the fire. So if this is the Washington State Democratic Party, which I suspect it is, hiring a voice actor to pretend as if they're the victim of a wildfire and then spinning uh, something that happened at a prayer service to use it against the mayor of Spokane to act as if she didn't care about the people who had their homes burned to the ground, that is the lowest I've ever seen. If that's the case, which again, I suspect it is, we've reached out to confirm. That is the lowest I've ever seen the state Democratic Party go in a political ad. The absolute lowest to impersonate a fire victim. How horrendous is that? That is awful. And then not to mention, Nicole, can we play the ad again? Sorry. Nicole's like, please, no, it's so bad. But yes, let's play it again. Let's make crime illegal again. When my childhood home burnt to the ground this summer in the Gray Fire, my family looked to our leaders to help. But Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward didn't stand with us. Instead, she stood with accused domestic terrorist Matt Shea, praying for fire to consume Spokane. And Nadine Woodward got her wish. Hundreds of homes, just like mine, were destroyed that same day. Spokane, we deserve better. Defeat Nadine Woodward. Return your ballot by Election Day, November 7th. This message paid for by Washington State Democrats. Good God. So, again, like maybe this is some professional voice actor who their childhood home was literally destroyed. That could be the case. I just tend to really be skeptical of that. And why wouldn't you use their name, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll wait and see if the Washington State Democratic Party wants to actually tell us the truth about that. The other thing, though, for the... Um, when he talks about this prayer service Nadine Woodward was at, which we've already, we already criticized her for. She showed up for a prayer service that was um, Matt Shea, who was accused of domestic terrorism, who used to be a state lawmaker, and then he got kicked out of his own caucus. Um, she showed up and he was on stage and she didn't know he was going to be on stage. And so she was faced with this decision of like, okay, do I, this is a prayer service for fire victims. Do I actually get up with Matt Shea or do I turn around and walk away? She opted to get up and look, it wasn't a good look. It was a self-inflicted wound, but uh, it, it was what it was. In, in there, the quote that they say, and this guy's saying that she, instead of standing by fire victims, 
she joined <laughs> she joined a prayer that called for Sia or Spokane to be consumed by flames, and she got her wish. <laughs> oh my God! Do you really think that anyone standing up as part of that prayer service? gave a prayer that honest to God was about Spokane, wanting Spokane to burn to the ground. No, first of all, we went and we looked up the stories about this that happened. It was the pastor, it wasn't Matt Shea even, who said, so, who said that. It wasn't Nadine Woodward. Uh, in fact, it sounds like it didn't even happen while she was up in those images, you know, praying with Matt Shea, that, and it sounded like it was a metaphor. Well, actually, the, the Rolling Stone even uses it as part of their title, but it, sa it says, Mega Preacher Prays for Jesus Fire to Consume Spokane. Yeah, so he's talking so he's about like... Making a metaphor. And look, that's kind of a crappy metaphor mm -hmm. when there's actual fires going on. But clearly, the guy wasn't talking about, oh, so we want Spokane to burn actual to the ground. Fire, right. No, he's talking mm -hmm. about like a religious, I don't know, fire. It's weird anyway, but still. Yeah. <laughs> that Nadine Woodward wanted and prayed for Spokane to burn to the ground, it is the lowest, the absolute lowest that the state Democratic Party has ever gone. Even if that voice actor turns out to be a real guy whose childhood home actually like burned, you still completely manipulated a prayer that she didn't even give to suggest that she wanted her own residence to what burn alive in a fire for the love of God. That, that is so, so bad. I will also say there's this blog um, and I, it's called On the Ball 509, and they had first uh, captured this video and, and put it out there, um, saying it aired halftime of the Seahawks game. They said that the guy they hired to produce it also works on softcore porn. <laughs> they, they hired him out of Los Angeles. Because you would think, like, that people have the moral compass, even people who make political ads, which usually are pretty bad, mm -hmm. that they would say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to create that ad and suggest that this mayor wanted people to burn alive in a wildfire. Um, but he also works on softcore porn. So I guess that, that they had to go all the way to the depths of Los Angeles to find someone with a moral compass so absolutely non-existent that they would produce an ad like this to air days before an election. Uh, but anyway, we've reached out. What are the two questions um, that we asked of the Was that a real State story? Party? Was that a real guy? Do you think it was appropriate to use a fake one if it was? Yeah. So if mm -hmm. it, that's what we've asked. Was that a real fire victim? And if not, why in the world would you think it's appropriate to use a fake fire victim when there are so many real ones for political gain? So Washington State Democratic Party, we are eagerly awaiting your response. But barring some sort of phenomenally bad political attack ad out today, congratulations. You've just earned yourself the title of the absolute worst political ad of the cycle. <laughs> <laughs>